Have you ever experienced the awesomeness of a baked potato topped with some mouth-watering pulled pork? If not, you're in for a treat. Hey there, it's Sal here from SJ Cooks, and I'm here to tell you that the baked potatoes are not just a simple side dish. They can serve as the main dish with the addition of some delicious barbecue meat. Plus, it's a fantastic way to put your leftover barbecue meat to good use. Today, I'll be using my leftover pulled pork, but you know what? Leftover brisket would work just as good. You know, the best part is you can customize your toppings any way you want. But before any of that, we'll first need to, well, bake a potato. Before baking, you'll want to give these potatoes a good wash. Be sure they're relatively the same size, so you know they're done around the same time. Let's poke some holes on these potatoes and then wrap with aluminum foil. I'm not planning to eat the skin, so I didn't salt it. Now, if you're always struggling on what to make for your sides and what to serve your main protein, I highly recommend you start throwing potatoes in your grill and about an hour or so later, you could enjoy a baked potato <coughs> along with the main protein you're cooking. If you don't have the grill running, you could do this in your oven, not a problem. About an hour later, your potatoes should be done. Let's remove. Now careful, these are hot. Let's unwrap and make sure you get the second one. You'll wanna cut a diagonal and then horizontal. Now you gotta be careful not to cut too deep. As with your standard baked potato, you can certainly add your ingredients right here at this point, but I'm gonna scoop out most of the potato. My plan is to mash these with our ingredients and then stuff the potato again. Of course, the objective is not to get carried away with the scooping. Make it quick and easy, and it's perfectly okay if you don't get all the potato. In fact, I discouraged from trying to get all of it out because it's very easy to damage the skin at this point. Once done, I'll add some pepper, salt, and some butter, and give it a good mash. This needs just a little bit more pepper, so I'll add it. Oops, almost forgot the cheese. I'll go ahead and add that. Heavy cream is really the key to get creamy potatoes, but adding a bit of milk will help too. Once they are mashed perfectly, you'll see how creamy they are. Give it a taste, and the salt is perfect on these. It's also very butter, which I love. I usually like to add bacon bits at this point, but our pulled pork is rich enough where I don't think I'll need it. Let's add this potato mixture back. We are pretty much done with the skin and the foil at this point, and now its only purpose is well to transfer the potato goodness and to help you plate it up. Honestly, I would only pour about half of this mixture to the potatoes because it can be a little too much for one person. Plus, it won't leave enough room for our pulled pork. So yeah, don't fill it up as much as I did here. Once the second potato is stuffed, let's drop in our pulled pork. Add a nice helping of pulled pork at this point. You can certainly drop in the barbecue sauce at this point, but I'm gonna wait a little bit later. But honestly, I think the pulled pork is perfect as is. Let's add more cheese on top. And since our grill is nice and hot, let's melt our cheese on the grill. Now this looks as delicious as is, but let's melt our cheese. It really doesn't need a long time since the grill is temping about 400 degrees. And bam, there it is. Cheese is perfectly melted. This is smelling really good and I cannot wait to taste it. Let's remove and add our extra toppings. Let's hit it with a little sour cream and sprinkle some sliced green onion for a little pop of color and a little bit of flavor. Now for the second one, I'm removing it off the foil. Drop in a little bit of barbecue sauce, green onion, and some sour cream. Let's scoop some of this delicious baked potato goodness and give it a taste. <laughs> nice little helping here. That's fantastic. Got leftover pulled pork. Make this. Highly recommend that. This pulled pork baked potato was outstanding. If you're looking for a new way to serve up some delicious pulled pork, you know, that's not your standard pulled pork sandwich. This is it. This is also an excellent, excellent way to use up some leftover pulled pork. 
So give it a try. Now, if you want more leftover pulled pork ideas, then be sure to check out this video next. And if you want to know actually how to make the pulled pork on your kettle and make a delicious, awesome, amazing sandwich, then you'll want to check out this other video instead. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you on the next one.